Uh, this is a vehicle that we're working in collaboration with the British Army, uh, General Dynamics and Airbus as the current incumbents for the Bowman, SATCOM and Falcon capability where we're taking those three capabilities and for the very first time integrating it here onto a single platform and all of this is to go to the strike experimentation to aid the Army future strike capability. The Bowman is standard Bowman radio today. Um, the satellite gives you the reach back capability back to the UK and Falcon is the broadband um, for the battle space basically. So it's all about the data availability to the front line when it's required. So what we've done now is, is integrate the capability so you can then get feedback from the front line video stream from the front line as well as text messaging or obviously voice either feeding it back to a commander that would be in this vehicle who would then disseminate that data to other users of that data um, so the integration very much effectively gives you um, a choice of tools or communications to use depending on the environment that you may be facing so as well as the current capability, that's deployed capability, um, so we're effectively reusing, sweating the assets as some people would call it, so it's, we believe, value for money for MOD. We're actually enhancing this capability with new technology, for instance, 4G, Wi-Fi, we have tactical data links, so for the very first time, we have a common operational picture where you get the land and air picture as an overlay that can be shared either to the commander in this vehicle or to the pilot as they're calling in the pilots for a, a potential attack. In addition, obviously we would normally have this type of capability visual on say rugged laptops or possibly on rugged um, tablets or for the first time standard COTS Android phones with um, security overlay on them that then you could have uh, a dismounted soldier with this capability to actually see and obviously relay data back from their own camera back to the commander. So now we're actually stepping away from um, situational awareness or very much enhanced situational awareness with the dismounted soldier as well. So this just gives a great big broadband um, square you, uh, area uh, front line. It, it, yeah, so, so coverage, puddles of coverage and, and depending on the environment you might use that as the broadband which would be the Falcon, standard data radio which would be the Bowman or of course reach back with the satellite. So it gives you this toolbox of comms depending on who you face some of this technology you would choose not to use in certain circumstances. One of the other key assets that we, we have here that would be part of the trial is that we have um, 4G with the same emergency or sorry, the same band of cover that the emergency services use in the UK. So it then brings a, a homeland defence aspect, bringing in again the military working with the emergency services. So this would be paramilitary, civilian, police forces, if they have a, a disaster area for instance, you deploy this system? Exactly that. So it gives you that capability should you choose to use it. We see this as a humanitarian aid capability as well as obviously potential um, standard military applications that you would normally expect from a vehicle or a capability of communication like this. In, in this vehicle as well, as part of our comms capability, we have Link 16. So that's tactical data links. And then basically we would send um, the, the shots up to, say, the Apache attack helicopter that does have Link 16 as standard. And therefore you can then share the air or common operational picture, the air and land picture together, all via the Link 16 capability. So the pilot, for instance, would see just the um, air picture. The commanders on the ground, or possibly even at sea, would then have a combined picture to give them more operational context of their situational awareness as they're moving around. Uh, what I possibly could be showing you is obviously a ruggedized uh, laptop that you could have, uh, and normally that would be an attentive command. You could have a ruggedized tablet running on Android but with a security clamp on it that would give you a shared picture, exactly the same picture, or as you'll see later on, on the broadsword vest, you actually then get down to COTS Android um, handsets like Samsung's or Nexus, and they actually do share again the same operational picture. 
So the enhanced situations you're getting from a pilot to a vehicle commander doing comms liaison or to a dismounted soldier, it's the same picture in real time that they can share to and fro to give enhanced situational awareness. And this is all secure communications? It is secure. We're working through that right now to get um, a smaller, lighter encrypted capability. So we're currently we're running on Android at Restricted and our aspiration, and we believe we're very close to that, achieving that aspiration, is to be running secret over uh, small device devices like this. So not yet available, but part of the strike experimentation we're working with and for Army HQ, we believe in a relatively short time scale, we will achieve that capability. And this should hopefully be in the new strike brigades, uh, three commander brigade, Royal Marines, just throughout uh, UK forces? So we're hoping that once this capability is proven, and obviously we're going through a set of iterative cycles now, experimentation, rework, enhancement, troubleshooting, all of those uh, bags over the next 18 months, we hope by then that we would have a, a combined capability that could be purchased for multiple uh, uses. Certainly at the moment, this is being sponsored by Army HQ for the strike capability.